Welcome back everyone to Holy Roller Guitars. You can kind of see the guitar behind me, but welcome back to the standard 50s. Uh, Les Paul uh, got traded for a white opal special edition Telecaster and uh, wasn't really satisfied. Luckily, the guy that I uh, traded it, he was not playing this guitar and um, we got to meet again and trade it back. So became friends. This one here is my first Strat uh, Stratocaster that I had. Or actually, it's my second, but it's my first made in Mexico. Uh, so I call it the main Strat that I started off playing with. Took off the aged um, hardware on this one because I'm actually going to be putting it on, on the Strat that I'm working on. And I just think it looks better uh, with that hardware because that was more aged than the stuff that I bought. I did buy a package of age hardware and on screen it looks really yellow and aged but it looks more newer you know since the guitar is a little bit beat up um i like the one that it had over there it has like hints of green instead of gold i don't know if you can tell on here but if you can see like the gold on there the one that i have has like grayish green so it kind of matches with the uh with the with the build with that with that color of guitar we're gonna get started we're gonna talk about parts everything that i've that y'all helped me with that my wife helped me with um we're gonna get started with what i'm gonna be using i know a few of y'all asked me if uh this guitar is gonna stay with me the flying v and no it's not gonna stay because one the frets two the truss rod cover thing because of those reasons it's not staying i can fix these frets i can't fix the logo not being there so since i can't do that it's gonna go back but um i am happy to have the 50s standard back so that's cool for people that have asked me about guitars and about what i've been using i've been playing the 59 and this uh, 56 more than I have been playing my Telecaster. For the last two years, two and a half years, I've been playing that Telecaster that's been the main guitar that I've been playing, practicing on, playing gigs. But now I've, this past three months or four months or however long it's been, um, I've gravitated to the Les Pauls. This one is really heavy. It has a fat neck. This one is kind of heavy. It has a medium-ish neck. Um, so it goes bigger neck, medium neck, and then the 59 has a smaller neck and it's sat in, it feels really good. But yeah, there's just an update for that for y'all that were, um, sorry, for y'all that were asking about uh, the guitars that I've been playing. So got that one back, grateful. <laughs> All right, let's get started. And uh, let's go over there to the workbench, look at the guitar, cause I got something to show y'all. Show y'all what pickups we ended up going with and uh, the hardware, what we're going to be using and the electronics. So we're not putting every, we're not putting anything together today because I'm trying to keep the video short. So today is going to be parts. Next video is going to be assembly. So, all right, let's get started. All right, first thing I'm going to show y'all is I didn't notice this the first time. I thought it was just a crack in the paint. I ended up pulling this out and this is actually um, broken off the guitar. So, got my wood glue there. I'm just going to get a little bit and put this back together and uh, do a time lapse of that. And then we'll get to the pick card and put the things in the bags over there. Let's say fender, those pots in there, and show y'all uh, what pickups I ended up picking uh, for this guitar. Uh, spoiler keeping the bridge, the other two bridges that I had, the gold one. It did have all the screws here, but I wasn't going with gold. The chrome one that I had, um, had it like Mexican style, uh, where it has all the screws in there, or traditional vintage. Uh, this one just has the two, so I just cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, I need to clean up, clean it some more, um, but we're going to keep that bridge. So let me fix this, do a time lapse, and put some glue on there, and try and get it in there, get a clamp on it, and then get to the pick guard. We'll put this aside. Get the pick guard and show you all the parts that I have, show you the part numbers, put them in the pick guard. So that's what we're doing today.
Okay, uh, so got a little like paper uh, wet rag and just go over the um, glue that is uh, coming out of the area where we put back the piece of wood. Clean that up. And clean the inside of the neck pocket up. Put that aside. So there you have it. Just going to put a little bit of pressure there. And leave it there for maybe 30 minutes or so. Um, it's not structural um, for the body right there. So I think that's going to be just a little bit of glue. Put it on both sides and clamp it for a while. And you should be fine. Okay. Trying to get you a wider shot of the workbench. Um, so we are staying with this tortoise shell and pit guard for the seafoam green stratocaster i am going to stay with the three-way switch here that came on this here pick guard with these pickups so what we are going to be changing is the three pots so i was gifted a uh, 335 es335 style guitar friend jimmy did put 250k pots in there so i want to try 250k pots on humbuckers so i did get three of these here is the part number if you can see that i will do my best to put these part numbers and description of what i'm using in the description box down below so i got three of those which those took a long time to get here uh and i have these left over from my uh, made in mexico strat and i have another one it was in the parts that Jimmy gave me, but I do have uh, one complete set with the screw and with that spacer. Um, so that's what I'm going to be putting in the neck. So this is not the, the bag for it, but the fender does sell these in a two pack. So there's that. These are the pots that I took out. Uh, these were 500k pots. One of them has B, and then the other two have A on them. Uh, let me see what can, oh this one has b so this one has b on it y'all see that that says b 500k um i have to look into what those differences mean but for what we're using we're using these uh 250k and then i took these off of my mexican strat that i think will look better because they have like a gray and greenish kind of hue to the lettering let me get my light and i can show you okay so i can't find my light at the moment but i'm going to use the light on the ipad that should be on and um so this is what i'm talking about it has like a greenish almost like a greenish and a gray tint to the knobs um so i think that's pretty cool compared to the gold ones that look brand new for the other one i think this will be cool on this guitar so i did take the uh, switch cap for the three-way switch and then the tone i mean the volume on the two tones so i think it'll be uh pretty cool so uh let's go with the pickups and see what i picked so sarah said she liked the chrome uh hardware and the chrome pickups so if y'all can see the wire these are the classic Unequal Classic Pro. So I believe this is the neck. Unequal Classic Pro neck. And then this one is the Unequal Classic Pro NHBNC. So maybe this is the neck that has the N-C. And then this one is the bridge dash dash c so there you go i didn't get a chance to what i wanted to do is take off the pickup covers and see if they were zebra pickups under here but choose not to mess with them i already did that with the burst buckers so i'll do another time lapse i'll get these pickups out and then i'll get the uh the pots in um, but i'll get this set up do a time lapse and then i will come back oh and one more thing for these um Epiphone pickups, the Unico Classic Pro. 
they came out of my 335 so i do have the, the screws these are springs for gibsons i just when i took those these out and i put the uh what is it a burst bucker one burst bucker two in my 335 i put the springs in from the epiphone because they're easier so unfortunately this one's not going to be that easy because it has the thin springs so yeah but i won't be using these screws or anything like that i'm going to leave them on this just in case anyone needs some humbuckers and for their guitar but if uh if y'all know what squire uses if these are them uh, let me know down in the description um i wonder what pick guard this came from but I'm pretty sure it's just a chinese or korean or something like that um pickups okay so i'm bringing you up close because the springs that are in this pickguard are a lot shorter clearly because they're not on a bobbin a humbucker bobbin and uh, the screws are a lot shorter also if y'all can see how how that's only like the first part of my finger here so i'm gonna reuse these smaller springs so that way it's not harder um on the uh to put them on the uh, the humbuckers and then i'm going to reuse these screws also so be a lot easier just to put these in there and then apply the pressure for the pickup and then put them on there so that's a that's going to be somewhat easier than trying to do they should fit so wish me luck and i need to make sure that i'm putting the right pickup in the right place so this is the neck all right All right, um, so yeah, that wasn't as difficult as it would have been with a, a bigger springs or longer springs, longer screws, but um, we got them in there and uh, we just need to, whenever we put it in the guitar, then set the height. So I think I'm gonna pick this one up just a little bit, or well, maybe as high as this one here. I'll uh, compress it some more here. Uh, right now what we're gonna do is you saw me cut this off. I'm gonna start putting the pots in there uh, these fender pots and what I'm going to do is face these two going that way and then face the last one going up and then I will put on the uh, the hardware uh, for this and I'll just well I'll put it on after but I'll put this hardware on there and uh, I'll show you all the back uh, how it looks like when it's done so here's another time lapse just to try and keep things short All right, so here you go. Uh, this is what the back of the pick guard is going to look like. Uh, here's going to be your volume for your neck position, volume for your bridge position, and then a master tone. I am going to utilize these uh, red wires that are coming off the uh, three-way switch. I have to figure out which ones are going to go to where. But um, what I'm going to do is for your neck pickup and bridge um, so these have the ground we're here with this black shielding um, I'm going to connect these two together like so I'm using the screen to do this but uh, so so this is your neck up here so whichever one of these is for the neck I'll connect it um, to the neck like so like that and then the same way for the bridge do it like that and then this grounding is going to go to your 
master, or not your master, but your neck pickup here. Um, and in case I have to do this, I have to go, I have to look at the schematics, but I might have to do this and maybe that might be um, the way it's going to happen. But I'll look at a wiring schematics to see if I have to ground it to each pot and how to do that. But um, this is basically what the back of the pickguard looks like. And I'll wrap this stuff up so I can put it in the guitar body so y'all can see what it's going to look like in there. Um, the glue has settled already, or has set, so I can bring the body back. And just so y'all can get a visual of what it looks like now. Um, I'm not going to screw it in, I'm just going to hold it like this, but... Um, don't pay attention to the don't pay attention to the plastics it'll it'll come off as soon as I get everything wired up and uh, next week's episode or next weekend's episode but it's gonna look like this so if I want me to bring it more out I can I think that's all I can nope okay that's all I can bring it out sorry there you go so that's what it's gonna look like and then as far as for the body, I think I'm just going to sand down this a little bit to make it smooth. Um, I'll look at some pictures of other Relic guitars and see what that looks like. But, um, but yeah, there's the... That's what it's going to look like. And I'm utilizing the same input jack, the same bridge, and um, the pick card. One of the pick cards that Jimmy gave me, putting the Epiphone pickups in there. And, uh, yeah, so if y'all want the part number and stuff again, here it is for the 250k pots for Fender. And then one of them came with a Ziploc bag for the potentiometers. So I think all I have to do is put a potentiometer on the tone. And, uh, I was thinking about, I was thinking about putting a treble bleed, um, I don't know if you can do that with the humbuckers because I'm still getting into all the wiring stuff. But if y'all, if I can, I might consider doing that because I think I have them in the in those uh, capacitors that Jimmy gave me. There's a a little Ziploc bag I think with the treble bleed in there. So I think I want to utilize that. I just don't know how to do it for both your neck and uh, bridge if I have to do two of them. Or if there's a way I can just do one. So, but yep. As far as the body, that's what it's going to look like. And um, next week, once I wire everything up, we'll put the strings on. And then I'll put these uh, string trees on the neck. There is a, a, a hole on the neck that's filled, I think. Um, but I think that hole, that's where those are going to go. Yeah, don't mind that. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed if uh, you like this, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see this, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, because this is the first build that I have planned uh, for for this beginning of the year. And, um, and I hope to do a Telecaster. I'm looking for a Lake Placid Blue uh, thin line. So with the F-O over here. Uh, Telecaster, if I can, if, if anything, single bound. If I can, I would really like a double bound Telecaster body, a uh, Lake Placid Blue or a blue color. Uh, I've seen a few on eBay. Uh, they are coming from China, so I don't know if I want to do that or if uh, I can just keep my own reverb for one. But I do want to do a Telecaster build. And what I want to do on that build is do a Joe Barden bridge with a single coil and the bridge position preferably the La Brea by Brad Paisley uh, bridge and then I'm considering um, I want it to be the thin line where it's the pick guard goes like this and I want to do a P90 in the neck position with a maple fretboard maple neck um, if I can find that uh, I want to that's one of my dream guitars so I want to try and build it instead of buying it because those American Telecasters are like going for 2000 2500 somewhere on there. So they're uh, very expensive and I'm just, you know, 
trying to work what I have, trying to slowly build something. Um, but yeah, if uh, y'all can, if y'all like this next build, I want to do a Telecaster. So take care. God bless. And uh, uh, this video should be coming out on Saturday. So happy New Year's to everyone. Happy 2023. I wish y'all the best in the new year. And um, and stay safe. I know there's going to be, um, you know, a lot more people are going out now um, with COVID and stuff. So um, stay safe and stay aware of your surroundings. And uh, God bless y'all. Take care. Peace.